and uh, thank you all for being here. I know it's like Christmas Day for you when you get to come before us, so appreciate having you. Thanks for your service. Uh, Mr. Chairman, uh, Chairman Wheeler, we've had conversations in the past uh, regarding the rate regulation bill that I introduced last year. And at the time of our initial conversation, there was a lot of concern regarding the authority uh, your commission possesses, but chooses to forbear for the most part uh, in regards to rate regulation. And I appreciate the forbearance of that. I want to make that clear. Uh, during that conversation, we talked about putting into statutory law a phrase that would ensure yours and future commissions do not have the ability to set out retail rates uh, on broadband internet, which I think is an important role for Congress to, to play, uh, to have a voice. But now since the uh, time of our original conversation, you along with many of our colleagues on this committee have said that the bill I introduced is far greater than what it seems and that it could end the ability of the FCC to regulate a plethora of other activities that were not in the bill. And I understand those concerns and, and I'm willing to work with anyone uh, that's willing to work with me to ensure that the intent of the bill is moved forward in a reasonable manner. Following a number of conversations and negotiations with members on both sides of the aisle, we passed what I think was an excellent amendment to the bill during our recent markup to ensure that a number of issues brought forward by our colleagues and yourself were specifically exempted from adding or detracting from the current FCC authority. Now, not more than a few hours after we passed that bill out of committee, you were in front of another committee in Congress where the same issue was brought forward. In that hearing, I have the transcripts actually, you again stated that we will not regulate broadband rates. Again, I appreciate that. And you then said that you would be willing to offer your assistance to Representative Crenshaw in developing legislative language on this topic. Uh, more specifically, you agreed to provide them with language and assistance within a couple weeks from the date of that hearing, which was uh, March 15th. Uh, would you be willing to provide that language to our committee when it's completed, which will be around March 29th? Yes, sir. Okay. I'd also uh, want to clear something up. In our recent markup on H.R. 2666, a letter from you was entered into the record in which you go to great length to explain why my bill's inconsistent with your comments before a Senate approves committee. Uh, given that I read you the text of the bill before it was originally introduced, and you stated that this is what we're trying to accomplish, I'm a bit confused by your letter, so I just want to clear something up. This is, this is just yes or no. Do you believe that the FCC should have the authority to regulate rates after the fact through enforcement? Yes, sir. Okay. What I was talking about was the question of de-forbearing. Okay. And I believe that in the open Internet rule, as we did, we should forbear from rate regulation. But you believe that you should have but the I authority to regulate rates, even though you choose not to at this time, the commission sh should have that authority to be able to regulate broadband rates. Yes, sir. That's is, kind of is, inconsistent. It is throughout. It is th because, look, because here's what's the concept. So, for instance, you know, Chairman Walden's amendment that you just, you just referenced, yeah. you know, the, the amendment to your original idea, when she said, hey, this will not have any impact on paid prioritization, because obviously, well, so, if no, so and, and is here's paid, my, there I, is a rate being and I charged, appreciate, right? And I appreciate it, and we're willing to work with you, but what, what I'm kind of confused about is we went from you saying, hey, we're going to forbear it, we have no intention of regulating rates on the Internet, and I'm, I, I like the, the concept of what your bill is, even if you don't like the details. We're willing to work with you on the details, but you're saying that you actually disagree that you actually should have the ability to regulate broadband that, rates. That's what I'm trying to, to address, the, the, the issue of rates. So, for instance, a, as Chairman Walden's amendment said, well, um, paid prioritization could be rate. That's not what we're talking about. Throttling could be rates, and we've all agreed we don't want to do throttling. Because how do, you, how do you throttle? There is a rate you are paying. You are delivering less than that, the service that you say that you're going to offer. Therefore, so there is a rate impact. And I understand Same there's thing a lot blocking. of details. Same thing with blocking. There's a lot of details. But we went from you saying, I agree we should not be able to regulate broadband rates, to now saying we should regulate broadband rates, but I'll forbear it for this moment. There's details, and that's my point so is, we're willing to work with you on a lot of these details. Um, yes, sir. And, and we're happy to do it with the other side of the aisle, with you all, and, uh, and I think that's important, but maybe we made a little uh, headlines. Uh, to Commissioner Pye, do you believe that the open internet order leaves open the ability of the FCC to regulate rates in any fashion after the fact, and do you believe that Congress should act? Uh, yes and yes, and I think the Chairman's commitment uh, should be taken at its word uh, that rate regulation is indeed on the table, and I don't think 
it shouldn't be that big of a leap if the president has said when he instructed the FCC to adopt Title II, I don't want the FCC to regulate broadband internet access rates. The chairman says, I don't, have a, I don't want to regulate broadband internet access rates and I don't have a problem with Congress codifying that. There should not be an objection when Congress actually tries to codify that commitment. That's right, and that's the role of Congress, is to make these laws, to make these things that we want our folks to live by or not live by. And uh, it's, I'm, I guess I'm confused, but unfortunately I'm out of uh, time. Thank so you. thank you all. Thanks for being here.